Okay, so uh, oh, there you go. Okay, so it is being recorded. Okay, we're good. Um, so we'll go right into the agenda. Uh, let's see, uh, approval of selectmen meeting uh, meeting minutes from January 9th and January twenty third. Did uh, everybody have a chance to look at them? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. All right. Can we have yep. we have a motion yep. to approve. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, selectmen minutes regular session January 9th, 2024, and executive session January 23rd, 2024. All right. And uh, I can't tell if Naj is on or off. Yep. The yep. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll second that. I'll All second right. that. Uh, any discussion? All those so, in favor say aye. Oh, you have to, John, you have to do a roll call because we're via Zoom for every vote. Oh, why? Because it's executive session? No, and when you do uh, remote meetings, you have to do roll call votes. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, so take a roll call. So, uh, Mr. Seeley? Yes. Mr. Nazarella? Yes. And I vote yes also. Okay. Uh, bills and commitments we have. And I I can't make them come up because I, I, they're here somewhere, but I can't find them. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll read them off. Go for it, Naj. Uh, I move to affirm the approval of fallen warrants and commitments. Payroll warrant number 68 for $467,999.93. Vendor warrant number 69 for $234,974.66. Withholding warrants number 70 for $160,130.02. Vendor warrant number 71 for $109,979.84. Payroll warrant number 72 for $456,636.13. School warrant number 73 for $524,212.76. Vendor warrant number 74 for $136,744.82. Withholding warrant number 75 for $157,186.73. Vendor warrant number 76 for $73,875.03. Ambulance commitments from 1-15-2024 to 1-21-2024 for $60,101.88. Ambulance commitments from January 22nd, 2024 from January 28th, 2024 for $34,856.38. <laughs> Ambulance commitments from January 29, 2024 to February 4th, 2024 for $72,702.09. Ambulance commitments from February 5th, 2024 to February 11th, 2024 for $35,344.76. Second. All right. Uh, roll call. Uh, Mr. Uh, Nezrella? Yes. Mr. Selig? Yes. And I vote yes also. So uh, it passes unanimously. Um, uh, I move to approve the following commitment. Mobile home park fee number two for $5,160. Second. Okay. Mr. Nazarella? Uh, yes. Mr. Selig? Yes. And I vote yes, so it's unanimous. Um, is, that, is that all of them? That's yep. everything, John. That's it. All right. Thank you. Okay. So open and special uh, annual town meeting warrants, uh, open special and annual town meeting warrants. Um, anything we need to do here, Cody, other than just uh, make that motion. If you just make the motion and then initially we had um, Sue and I had talked about petitioned uh, articles will be due March 12th or any petitioned articles, right? That's what we had said Sue, the 12th. That's correct. Yep. Yeah. So as soon as you guys open this, uh, we will post on the website tomorrow that the warrants open and any petition articles will be due the 12th. All right. So I will make a motion that uh, we open the special and annual town meeting warrants as of tonight. I'll second that. Okay. Any discussion? Uh, Mr. Nazarella? Yes. Mr. Seelig? Yes. And I vote yes also. That's unanimous. Uh, legal services agreement with Matt Thomas. Who's Matt Thomas again? <laughs> So um, this comes about, as you may recall, we had uh -oh. um, negotiated a pilot payment in lieu of taxes for the solar over on River Street. Uh, there's another solar array that uh, that we've voted to go into negotiations with. Um, our general counsel typically has represented us in the past. Uh, Matt Thomas is um, a well-known legal counsel. He represents several board of assessors throughout the region, particularly in these pilot negotiations. This is really what he specializes in. 
So when speaking with our principal assessor and the board, uh, they felt more comfortable if we were to contract with him to oversee these negotiations. I think it's a great idea, but um, the, the selectmen are responsible for council. So you would just need to vote to execute the agreement with him just for the solar pilot um, agreement to negotiate that. Right. I, I don't have it in front of me. Is uh, the rate comparable to what we're paying for the other uh, attorneys? Uh, it is. So it's uh, $200 an hour and he anticipates it costing somewhere in the three to five, three to $5,000 range. Although, you know, it's negotiation, so it all varies, but that's what he's typically seen in the past. Yeah. $200 an hour is pretty cheap. That's good. Yep. Okay. Uh, any uh, discussion on uh, legal services agreement with Mr. Thomas? Uh, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve uh, retaining Mr. Thomas uh, as suggested by the town administrator. Do we have a second? Also, go ahead, Najee. You can second. I'll second that. <laughs> okay. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, Mr. Nezzarella? Yes. Mr. Seelig? Yes. And I vote yes. It passes unanimously. Um, we already did. Didn't we just do the ambulance abatements or no? Yeah, but there was one more. I didn't see that down the bottom. All right. So, so uh, uh, a front approval of the following ambulance abatement January 2024 for $104,771.22. Second. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Um, Mr. Nezzarella? That's uh, a yes. And Mr. Seelig? Yes. And I vote yes also. That makes it uh, unanimous. Um, election warrant. <laughs> uh, approval of the election warrant. So this is for the uh, uh, national election or the state or the primaries coming up? This is for the March 5th primary. All right. Um, okay. Any discussion but by the board about the uh, election warrant? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, warrant as as printed. Do we have a second? I'll second that one. Okay. Um, so any further discussion? Uh, Mr. Nazarella? Yes. Mr. Seelig? Yes. And I vote yes also. Passes unanimously. Uh, master development agreement with Thorndike Development. Uh, Cody, you just want to give us a briefing on this? Sure. So um, this has been in the works for several months. This uh, comes as a result of the town meeting uh, votes. You've seen several versions of this. Um, you saw it in substantial form. It was a handout at town meeting. Uh, we wanted to get this officially approved and wrapped up. There's been a couple of changes, which I will uh, make note of. The first of those changes is uh, initially the agreement called for the reduction of all local fees by 50%. Uh, and further reviewing that, we don't really have the ability for all local fees. We can um, reduce the building permit fees. Uh, and that's actually it because our wiring um, and plumbing, we pay a percentage of the fee to our inspector. So we really can't reduce that. And then our water fees, you know, they're an enterprise fund, basically run like a business. So um, it wouldn't be wise to reduce those fees. So um, we were specific in that it would just be the building permit fees. Uh, that's change number one. Change number two is that uh, initially the building, the build out of the pickleball courts was go going to be included in the construction of the overall new council on aging. So we would have been contributing to the um, the cost of building on the pickleball courts. You may recall a town meeting, um, Thorndike Development went on record and said that they would actually build out the pickleball courts and um, in their ent in their entirety and pay for them. So uh, we wanted to make sure we held their feet to the fire for that and change the agreement to be reflective of that. Uh, so it does reflect that now. And as a result, what we did do was um, considering those water department interconnection fees they had initially thought that uh, they would get a reduction of around $52,000. So in order to be fair uh, with them, because we are still making out significantly considering they will build the pickleball courts, is we uh, added the disclaimer that we would reimburse them out of their, out of the 1.2 million, up to 1.2 million that they would provide us, we would give back up to the 52,000 um, in the water department fees. So. Now they are they still you know are getting what they anticipated and we still make out uh, better than we had anticipated because the pickleball courts will be included. 
And then the final uh, revision was just to the timeline of the project. Initially, we it had called for us having a project manager on board 30 days after town meeting. Obviously, we're already 30 days after town meeting, and we didn't want to move forward with procuring that until we had this agreement uh, in place. So we just updated that to um, be more reflective of what we anticipate for a timeline. And everything else is the same. Okay. Uh, any discussion by the board? Oh, no. Okay. So I'll make a, a motion to approve the master development agreement with Thorndike Development. Do we have uh, a second? Uh, Naj, you want it? Yeah, I'll, take, I'll second that. Okay. Um, so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Uh, Mr. Nezzarella? Yes. Mr. Seelig? Yes. And I vote yes. So passes unanimously. Um, okay. Uh, early voting hours for primary election. Um, does, uh, so Susan, uh, you want, do you want to talk about this or Cody or what? So this is just, um, a, the, this is more to keep the public and the board aware, um, that there will be early voting starting on Saturday, the 24th of February, running through Thursday, the 29th. Uh, the hours are Saturday, 10 to four, that Monday, 7 to 4.30, Tuesday, 7 to 6.30, and then that Wednesday, Thursday, 7 to 4.30. So um, you don't need to actually approve this. We just wanted to make you aware and make the public aware of this. All right. Does this uh, voting take place at Town Hall? Yeah, well, right in the town clerk's office. All right. And this is different than mail-in voting. Somebody has to go into the town hall and ask for a ballot, fill it out, and hand it in, right? Correct. Okay. Anything you we need to do about it? No, but this was more just informative, right, Sue? That's correct. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to the next one. Updates? Um, nothing of significance. Still working on the MBTA action plan. Um, Morse Brothers, we have no new, no new significant updates. Um, and that is it. You know, we'll have more updates at our meeting on um, Tuesday. We just wanted to kind of take care of these items, um, particularly the warrant in the legal services agreement. All right. Uh, anything else for us to take up? I think we are all set. All right. Uh, so uh, I will, unless uh, Jonathan or Nasha has anything else to add, I'll make a motion to uh, adjourn. Second. We have, a, we have a second. Any discussion? Uh, Mr. Nazarella? Yes. Mr. Selig? Yes. And I vote yes also. So uh, con continue with your vacation. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks. Have Enjoy a good it. Uh, All right. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Uh,